Hello there and welcome to Cory Loses, where today we're going to be talking about the Star Wars Ascendancy 1.1.6 open beta, which just started today. Uh, so Ascendancy, for those of you who don't know, is our Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion mod, which converts the game into the Star Wars universe after Episode 6. Uh, so what we're basically trying to do with this release is improve the balancing between the four existing factions and improve some of the capital ship abilities, militia, and just general gameplay in the mod. Uh, with the content we already have before we move on to adding the next playable faction, which will be the Hate Consortium. Uh, so the factions right now are the New Republic, Imperial Remnant, Empire of the Hand, and Pentastar Alignment. Uh, the way we're doing this is we are using a program called GitHub, which this is just something that we are using for the beta so that we can get updates out to people as fast as possible. Basically what this program does is it downloads the mod for you and then if you want to update, you just have to press uh, this button here in the actual client. This is just a picture of it. But uh, so I'm going to show you how to get the mod set up. Uh, first, you're going to have to go to desktop.github.com and you're going to download it for Windows and install it like you would any other program. And again, once the final release is done, it'll be up as a normal download on all the regular download sites like Mod Database. Uh, this is just for the purposes of testing so we can get as much up-to-date feedback as possible. So if you don't like the idea of having to get this extra program for it, don't worry. Within pro usually about a month when we do the testing like this, the full release will be out. Uh, we just want to make sure we have as much feedback as possible on the most relevant change as possible. Uh, so you get the program and then you'd sign up on the site for an account. Then what you do is go into... Uh, the Ascendancy test link. All these things will be linked in the description. So if you just go to the text news post, uh, you can find all these links that I'm going to be using in there. Uh, so once the program is installed, you go here to the actual repository link. Then you're going to click on the clone or download green button there. You're going to open in desktop. And then that will launch the client for you. Let me give it a second. Mine is over here. Oh, I'm going to have to redo that because it won't let me move it when that's open. There we go. Uh, so open in desktop, and that'll bring up this cloner repository thing. Uh, don't change this, but you will want to change this. So uh, mine was correct, but we're going to go to my games. Ironclad Games, Sims of Solar Empire Rebellion, into the uh, Mod Rebellion v1.85 folder. Uh, yours may be named something slightly different, so the version number might be different. It might be like v1.89 like I have there. Uh, they made it so that at least anything after 1.85 works. Uh, I don't know if it worked before then, but whatever your version number is, whatever your most up-to-date version number is, that mods folder. So we're going to select that folder. And that'll create the Ascendancy test folder in there. So uh, for mine, the destination already exists because it I already have that added there. But I'll just delete it for the purposes of showing you guys how to set that up. All right. And now that I've deleted that, you just press clone. And that'll start downloading. So we'll come back when this is finished. All right, so when that's finished downloading, then you'll end up with something that looks kind of like this. It'll say current repository, ascendancy test, uh, and you'll have the changes in history tab. You'll want to go into history. Usually changes is just for uh, the development side. Uh, and you'll see this list of different commits. The latest one right now is 1.1.6 testing opens. Uh, and if everything went well, the mod should now be installed to here. So you'll have your mods folder and a sanity test, and then you'll have all this fun stuff. Uh, so at this point, you can then uh, activate the mod the same way you would with any Sins of a Solar Empire mod. Uh, you can do that in game, or you can do it using your enabled mods text file. Uh, it, I'm sure anyone who wants to use the text file version manually already knows how to do that. Uh, Otherwise, the in-game mod launcher works just fine. Uh, so, on top of that, uh, we are going to be doing error reporting in our 
uh, our Discord server, as well as on our forum. So there's links to both of those in the description as well. Uh, we are also going to be doing community matches throughout the testing phase in order to get as much value, uh, as much multiplayer feedback as we can, because that tends to be a bit more helpful than uh, just single player for balancing purposes. You can still get some good information out of single player, but uh, the best way is really multiplayer, because then players will exploit whatever they can find. Uh, so the first one of those is going to be on this YouTube channel, as well as my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Corey Loses, uh, tomorrow night. That's Friday, December 7th at 5 p.m. EST. I'll be hosting the game, and then uh, we'll see how many people have the beta and want to get in. Uh, but yeah, so that, that'll that be open to anyone. If Just make sure you have the mod installed at that point. And uh, yeah, so hope you guys are looking forward to all the changes that are coming with Ascendancy. Uh, there is currently the Mod of the Year competition going on Mod Database. So if you are enjoying what we've done with Ascendancy and Imperial Civil War with 2.2 this year, uh, and you're also or you're also looking forward to Fall of the Republic for Empire at War, uh, and you want to consider giving us your vote, uh, you can vote for as many mods as you like. So you can vote for any of the three, all three, or anyone else, really, uh, and not us. But we'd appreciate the consideration. And uh, thanks. Hope you're looking forward to playing the mod. I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.